Hello everyone, this is Alex. Welcome back to my channel where I'm talking about trucks and truck business in general. Uh, in today's video, I decided to stop by an, you know, another company where you can rent the trucks and help yourself with your fleet and uh, if your truck breaks down or if you just need another truck for your company. So this company actually really well works for me and uh, I'm not advertising them, I just give you my opinion and share my uh, experience and I will be more than happy if you guys share in the comments your experience. Maybe you know some other companies so we can help each other to find the best option, best prices, best uh, companies to work uh, like truck drivers to build a good companies and make everything is more easier because when you try to go internet it's hard to find some company where you can uh, find the good trucks. So let's go. So my previous video, which is in the link below, um, uh, about renting the trucks, uh, get like about size uh, 5,000 views, which is on the, on the day of recording this video, so, which is good for me because I have only like a small channel with like 900 subscribers and like no, not much, and I had many 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 like uh, uh, messages or comments about this video, how to rent, how much it costs and stuff like that. So today I try to introduce a company, which is I renting trucks for my company. Uh, they located in the West Coast and they mostly for uh, West Coast. So name of the company is TCI Leasing. Um, I found this company by see other trucks in the road. I found this also company that they uh, renting trucks for Amazon as well. Uh, where, where I actually carried my goods and uh, so I just simply uh, found like a manager and uh, after that we start to have a good conversation. So what's the difference between other companies? The first thing I, I like a service. The service was for now for me it's really good because I have a manager, his name is Paul, uh, more than happy share his email uh, on links below. So you can text him if you need some options for your fleet and he will go through every, every single prices. They have also a lease option, not only a rental option. So the, the communication skills between manager and the customer like me, it's pretty good. I like it, it's from like, let's say 10 is like best. I would say eight for sure, because as the companies what they rented before it was three, four maximum. And this is guys really cool. And then also service of the truck is something is break, break down. They react really quick and they come to you and fix it really, really fast. I had the funny situation when I just took a truck and my truck, uh, like engine, when my, my drivers uh, power down the truck and the entrance of the Amazon, they cannot power up. So it was funny then we realized that some like small thing was uh, broke and they came like in 15 minutes and fixed it, which is cool, you know, I, I get the like, a traffic behind me, like uh, behind my driver on Amazon facility, which is, was funny. Anyway, so let's, let's continue. All right, let's talk about good parts about this company. The first, they have big fleet. The fleet about 2000 rental units, which is big amount and you definitely can find something for you. Of course, it depends on the season. If some season is high, it's more hard to find. But I did find in the top, in a high peak season uh, truck from for myself there. And uh, the another good thing is pricing. So if you go with the price of another company, it's a little bit more high. This is more cheaper. So right now, uh, I my personal um, uh, rate for for the truck is uh, seven hundred fifty uh, per week and uh, 12 cents per mile which is average is same everywhere like Penske or Ryder or whatever it is but it's rental and deposit for my company was not that high I put like uh, I think two, yeah two and a half thousand thousand dollar deposit for one truck and then you can rent it a couple more so with one deposit you can use uh, two three trucks it all depends on your company if your company is new like mine so they're not allowed you to give you like uh, big amount of trucks like say 10 15 they give you a like two three not more but then if you build credit history with them and you pay every single time without problem they're gonna give it to you more and more options so right now uh, i spoke with the paul and he told me that uh, 
uh, in March, basically, I suppose I, I will possibly uh, rent it like five trucks, which just really works for me. You know, you don't have to put that much deposits down and the amount of the money, what you pay for the truck is good and the truck is, uh, trucks is also good. They, they have like freight liners mostly. I, I basically what I see for them, I think is they have also can words. But anyway, the thing is, is all things is works. And another good thing about this company, they have a lot of repair location, really, really, really a lot. So well, I could say um, uh, in California, uh, like in South California, I think they have three or four. They have two in Las Vegas, couple in Phoenix. So many, many, many like uh, repair shops, which is allowed you to go anywhere. If you, let's say, uh, took a truck from like uh, California location, you can leave a truck uh, at, in Phoenix location without problem, which is problem with other companies. Let's say Penske or Ryder or uh, they were still rented before. So you have to bring it back truck in the same location, which is not that, that not always easier and sometimes it's even costly to you so this is also a good thing um, and another good thing so what i like is it's my communication because when you text some email when you need some question or you need some you know some quick answers they give it to you right away some I, I was waiting for some email like i think more than one hour once that's it. The rest is was like 10, 15, 10, 15 minutes answer or they call you or you call them, which is cool. And I really appreciate the work of the guy which is named Paul who did for me. All right, let's talk about bad side of, of, uh, of the company. So uh, they located in the West Coast and that's why they not allow the trucks to go to uh, deeper, like in the middle of the country, let's say from Texas, if you put the line up, it's a must looking, looking if you, where you can go. So after that one, uh, if something happened to the truck, they cannot uh, come to you fix it. And basically this is gonna be a cost for you to repair that. And they uh, give you that notes in advance so you know about that. And basically if something happened before that line, you, you good, yeah, if they come fast and they fix fast and everything is fast. But if you go over there, you can go over there, but you put yourself in a risk, which is not good. And I um, actually don't know why they have exactly uh, policy like that. I guess because they have like only locations on the West Coast. But anyway, if you drive on the West Coast in, uh, in the mid in Midwest, it can work for you. And uh, the most important thing, you can rent fast. So this is only bad thing about this company. and. Uh, rest of the stuff more or less is uh, clear and uh, not, nothing no hiding fees there nothing which is to, which is basically good right guys let's talk deeply about uh, pricing so about renting uh, they have uh, from 2016 to 2018 uh, I don't think so they have 2020 maybe you get get lucky and get 2020 but for 2016 and 2018, the average has about the same prices. So it's also, it all depends uh, where you're renting. Let's say uh, like Arizona or Texas, there is a little bit cheaper. California a little bit, of course, more expensive like everywhere. And the um, pricing for the miles also a little bit different, but it's something between uh, 700 per week uh to i think in 850 it was something like that it depends on location and the price for the mileage is the cheapest what i heard and it's uh, 12 and uh, maybe it can be cheaper uh, you can check out with the manager there and uh, until 15 or 16 it's for for the rental units uh, for the leasing they have an option uh, uh, a couple options they have like uh, one year and three year uh, or five years and also pricing is different uh, it's better to check with the manager where the pricing but i'll be honest i already know i already had some uh, proposal from them and they look cheaper to me than another one and which is with the new trucks and everything so right now i'm working on a deal to get one year lease trucking with uh, 2020 not 2021 not a new one and uh, it's something about uh, 2,800 per month and um, I think about 7 cents per mile 
which is good it's new truck but for one year it's going to be like a rent but it's going to be fixed rent for one year also if you like if you let manager know so you're going to rent like for three four months five months really like for the season uh it's good because uh the price is going to be cheaper for sure if you're going to rent just for like one week or like one month it's going to be a little bit higher of course so if you but if you need for like more than that it's going to be you know very good very good for you so um let's let's continue to the next one all right guys so like i said i don't advertise in this company just share my opinion i I will be really appreciate if you leave in the comments uh, what company you use, how much you pay. Maybe some of the people can find this video on YouTube or wherever they found it and go found that company. Is it gonna work for them? So let's help each other. Subscribe to my channel, press the like button. Good luck, everyone. See you in the rolls.